Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Wahab Rakak Wadash, which Yahweh's Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's his true name. And Rakak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule and teach one well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the Akim out there that pushes word in all truth and all sincerity. Now, I follow this um, this guy on social media, and he pretty much always posts articles on you know whether it be you know the economy, geopolitical, you know um, activities going on, or technology. And this article that he posted in particular, which we're about to read, is uh, on um, is on WorldTruth.tv. And it's in, uh, entitled, PayPal Working on Natural Body Identification Via Implantable Microchips. All right? And this is a uh, heavy article because we know PayPal is a uh, cryptocurrency, um, you know, company. And they're uh, one of the biggest and one of the first that I can remember that was, uh, uh, that was being used. You know, you had um, a lot of people, I believe it's still being used even to this day. On eBay, okay, they were they uh, they're the third party, okay. During your transactions, okay, uh, um, during your eBay transactions, okay, and this company now is proposing to have uh, these uh, microchips, which is the RFID chip, okay, for identification purposes, and um, it says uh, ingestible capsules that can detect glucose levels. Could use a person's body as a way to identify them and it says uh, PayPal is working on a new generation of embedded injectable and ingestible devices that could replace passwords as a means of identification okay you know these are uh, major companies you know they're in cahoots with the um, you know the elite they, they know the, the game plan and there's you know as time keeps progressing they're pushing for everyone to you know have this uh, RFID chip okay and plan in them you know they're you know uh, it's called gradualism all right where they you know do one step at a time for everyone to feel comfortable in uh, making the, the this choice all right and they keep pushing you know um, that we need it for our identification purposes it's for safety uh, reasons they always push that that's the main thing that Esau always does he wants you to believe that there's you know um, hazardous issues if you don't uh, have these you know security um, you know these security um, what do you call it steps in place okay because they always talk about you know you know what is that uh, identity theft um, what else um, you know, basically, yeah, identity theft, and um, they also use the whole, uh, uh, what is that, um, for your health, you know, if anything happens to you, this chip has, you know, all your, uh, um, all your, you know, records on there, so it, when the um, ambulance comes, they don't have to, um, you know, talk to anybody, they can actually just scan you, and they uh, have all your information right there on the spot, so they like to push that. You know, it's, you know, it's just a little tactic that Esau uses to, you know, put fear in people to, to go with his agenda, okay? Now, I'm going to keep reading. And they uh, quote Revelations 13, 16, and 17, chapter 13, verses 16 and 17. And it reads, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, that word causeth, I forgot the Greek word, but it pretty much means that there's going to be a, an event or several events that take place where they're gonna um, push this, you know, uh, microchip, right? And um, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, uh, of young age, old age, rich, poor, okay, free or bond. It doesn't matter, all right? They're, they're gonna, they want this on the, uh, on everybody, because they want to be like the heavenly Father, and they want, uh, they want to keep tabs on everybody. They want to know your all your movements. Want to know every little thing that you do. Okay, and they want you to be uh, the ultimate slave, basically, the elites. All right. Now 
it says there to receive a mark in the right hand or in the forehead. That mark goes back to the Greek word karagma, which means an incision or cutting of the flesh, okay? So basically, to get that uh, microchip, you have to get your skin cut and then they uh, implant the chip in you, okay? And it doesn't matter if you have that chip, you know, whether your skin be uh, pierced to get it or whether you ingest it. If you have that microchip, that mark, okay, then you're going to be destroyed, okay? Save he that had the mark. Oh, I'm going to keep reading this. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name okay and you know they want everybody you know to have this uh, chip and it's pretty much in the very near future if you don't have that RFID microchip you're gonna be an outcast okay you're gonna have to live off the grid so to speak all right and the uh, the elected they're not gonna take this chip the elect is not gonna take the chip okay now Bashim al Shah is going to protect those that he has uh, preordained, okay, to be saved. The elect aren't going to have to worry about buying or selling because the, the Heavenly Father, through His Son, they're going to provide for us, however it may be. All right, we might stumble across food and water, shelter, or we might have, you know, uh, the beasts of the field, they might uh, provide food for us. All right, that's why it's good. You know, you have to, uh, you know, read your scriptures, man, because it happened to Elijah. Okay, he was fed by ravens. That's just one uh, example. Okay, um, and it reads, uh, Jonathan LeBlanc, PayPal, Pay, uh, yeah, PayPal's global head of developer evangelism, claims that these devices could include brain implants. Uh, Brain implants, uh, wafer thin uh, silicone chips that can be embedded into the skin, and, and adjustable uh, devices with batteries that are uh, powered by uh, stomach acid. The, these devices would allow natural body uh, identifications by monitoring internal body functions like heartbeat, glucose levels, and vein recognitions, Mr. LeBlanc Le told the Wall Street Journal. Okay, now. Um, actually, I'm going to keep reading. It says, over time, they would uh, come to replace passwords and even more advanced methods of identification like fingerprint scanning and uh, location verification, which he says are not always uh, readable. Uh, readable. And it reads, um, as long as, they, as passwords remain the standard uh, methods for identifying your users on the web, people will continue to use them. Uh, the mine or password 123 for this uh, secure login. And will continue to be shocked when their accounts become compromised. See, like I was saying, they always uh, use that fear tactic. Okay? Oh, you're you're um you're um you know account's gonna be uh, hacked. You're gonna have uh, what do you call that um identity theft? Okay. And it says, Mr. Le uh, LeBlanc said PayPal is already working with some partners on developing vein recognition technology and heartbeat recognition bands, and also working with developers on prototypes of futuristic ID verification techniques. All right. Now, the common this is, you know, a great idea. They love it. They're for it. All right. But, you know, we understand that if you take this mark, then guess what? You're going to have a lot of issues, man, with the Heavenly Father. All right. And that's because you are basically saying that you want to be a slave to Esau, Edom, rather than be a servant of the Heavenly Father, all right? Now, let's get 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, all right? So those who are in the know understand what's going on, okay? All these little steps that they keep uh, proposing, all right? We're not ignorant of them. We understand what, what's, uh, what the... Uh, end goal is okay we we got it all right through the spirit of power y'all about shim y'all shot but these peons out here they don't have they have no clue what's going on and two-thirds of our people have no clue what the hell is going on they just go with the flow of everything whatever esau Edom, esau Edom does the so-called white man does our people are down uh, down with it okay that's their daddy okay all right that's their daddy so they they, they want to be 
uh, uh, you know, bastard child, the Lord's going to destroy him. Okay? And we're and, and this is the second exodus that's coming up. All right? We're, we're entering into the second exodus. The first exodus, we had a bunch of rebels coming out of uh, uh, the land of Egypt. Okay? This time around, the Lord is not dealing with rebels anymore. The Lord is just going to destroy those who want to be rebellious. All right? You know? And uh, let's just get that real quick. Revelation 14. And we're going to end it off with this. Revelation 14 and 10. I'm going to start at 9. This is Revelation 14 and 9. And it reads, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast or his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of, the, of their torment um, ascend up forever and ever, and they have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Alright, so you basically... You're going to receive that thermonuclear uh, destruction judgment, all right? You're going to be destroyed with, with this hellfire, okay? That's the, that, that's the end all be all, all right? So if you take this chip, that, that, that's your ass, all right? And with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. And salutations to all you Akim out there. Shalom.